Like this man got features from people like yeah. I listen to these folks. Crazy. And that's you got a lot of these people early too. It's right. like you got Kehlani yeah. early, early. I don't even remember. You how know, did that, I didn't like, even think about that. Yeah, how did that, that happen? Like your connection with the West Coast, like how do you build that mm. core like that? I'm not sure. I think with Kehlani, she was just a fan of that SoundCloud earlier music. Yes, sir, Ski. We are back for another edition of Infinite Vibes, number one podcast in the world. Damn it, I'm a random man. Got the richest lady in the A, DJ B Lax with me, too. You know what I'm saying, bro? How yeah. you feeling? Man, I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm highly favored. God is good. God is great. We're in the middle of the Ain't second you know. quarter. You know what I'm saying? We in the middle. This is just started. Well, yeah, well, I'm sure. Well, it's just started, but I feel like this month already going by. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna hold Facts. you. This it's been going great already. You know, mm-hmm. but it ain't about us. You know, we got special, special, special guests. Special, special, special <laughs> guests. We are recording Ooh. live from the world famous Culture special. Lab in the A. <laughs> special, 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 best, <laughs> special. And we're in the presence of somebody. My guy pulled up on me, man. Talk somebody who made some of your favorite records on the internet. Definitely favorite R and B records. He's out here going crazy, and I feel like he has. A new situation Please introduce yourself To our listeners My boy What up What up It's L-A E-L-H-A-E um, I don't know why I always spell it out <laughs> I guess Because people be out Like is no, it they spelled think L-A? It's L-A? Yeah, yeah. yeah 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 Um, But yeah L-A What's up y'all Thank y'all for having me I appreciate it Man That's thank you up. for being here man Like sure. this is my guy right here Um, I've been knowing this dude For a minute And yeah. um, I know that you Are somebody that You just been working Consistently And no matter what You're going through You just You just stay at it Regardless yeah, Try right. to mm-hmm. Try to That's all you can do you know what I'm saying? In this in this situation, mm-hmm. as an artist in general, like especially now I'm independent, so yeah. like right. it's um you know you just gotta put your head down and get to it. You know yeah, what I mean? that's, that's all you can do. So. But you've been independent before, or have yeah, you I mean I um I started with Atlantic in 2016. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah, 2016, and then um that ended in 2020, and then um COVID happened, <laughs> um. And went to Motown, Motown and Capital, mm. and then from there that just ended last year, the end of last year. So now I'm independent, okay, I'm chilling. That's yeah, yeah. it's been a cool little vibe. It's been a lot of a lot of fr- uh, freedom and able to do what I want to do when I want to do it. So your creative yeah. space. But I'm yeah. saying before all the record deals, was you was you independent? Oh yeah, yeah. The the work up until I got the deal, that was just nonstop grinding, mm-hmm. showcases, talent shows, mm-hmm. you know, the whole right. nine. So. Um, yeah, yeah, that was a grind. So, you know, I was definitely independent for a long, long, long time. Um, and even after, even after Atlantic, it was probably like a, a good year before I signed that deal with Motown and, and Capital. So I was independent in that little short span too, which I put out like two singles called Need to Know uh, mm-hmm. with this uh, K-pop artist called, his name is I Am. And, and K-pop going crazy. Going too crazy. Word, too crazy. they make it red. <laughs> crazy. Um, and then Perks, the song called Perks with uh, Eric Bellinger. So mm-hmm. we put that song out. That is yeah. one of my favorite songwriters. Really? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's incredible. I talked to him yesterday. I'm working on something right now for him, so I'm trying to figure it out. But he's dope. That's, one, that's like big bro. So yeah. I just realized, like, honestly, I'm not even going to hold you. I, L.A., I knew your name, mm. but I didn't know you was like, I would listen to Eric Bell. I get that a lot, though. Yeah, yeah, I knew your name, but I couldn't put the face with the name. Like, you yeah, know what dude. I'm saying? But, like, when I listen to Eric Bellinger, Shout like, out to Atlantic Records. Man, no, for real. Like, Nah, no not, not in a good song? way. <laughs> no, for, you know the no vibe song. Oh yeah, yeah, ever, of course, yeah. That's how like I got. That, re- that was my first introduction to you. Like, really, that's amazing. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. That mm-hmm. means that Eric, I'm mooching off of Eric. That's great. Yeah, I was a fan. <laughs> that's, that's what I, I want to do. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to find artists that you can kind of like, you know, get exposure from. So yeah, nah, it's dope. That's what's I'm up. I'm happy you like that song. That song's a vibe too. Yeah. I mean, hence the title. Absolutely. Yeah, that's true. No pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> so, you know, being an independent artist now, um, mm-hmm. you started in a space where you grind in, you're doing all yep. this stuff to get a deal, and then you finally get the deal just right. to become independent again. Yeah. So talk to us about that process. Um, I, I battle with it. I mean, I feel like there's one side of me that's like, man, like, you know, where would I be hadn't I did that? Hadn't I went to the major label route? Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and then there's a side of me that's like, well, you know, they did – pay for a lot they like budget wise they got me like to do like the music videos and um that's it actually (laughs) (laughs) mainly i mean honestly i mean of course what they did on the the backside with like dsps and and like playlisting and um getting me in kind of cahoots with those people like that was a good that was like the one of the only good things being on um atlantic but i feel like as far as the 
fan base that was already accumulated. Facts through right. SoundCloud. You know, we did a we did great on SoundCloud and was getting millions of plays there before we even signed. So, Facts. Um, yeah, I mean, so I mean, you know, I was selling out shows in London and going to Tokyo and doing shows and you know, like before I even signed the deal. So, right. um, it was one of those things where I kind of got go back and forth with. But I mean. It is what it is. You can't cry about it now. You just kind of just kind of pick your head up and keep going, you know, and, and kind of try to elaborate on what's what's happening now. That's so, right. Yeah. So, like, I just for my independent artists, what resources did you take from the major labels? Because you like you said, like mm-hmm. the major labels don't really they don't really do too much. But you got to not into the uh, not to cut you off. They're not into developing artists. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These days, you know what I mean? It's more so like you have your fire cooking already. If they got, they'll, they'll add gas to the fire, you know what right. I mean? But they're not going to start the fire for you. Mm-hmm. That's just like to chime in on what you were saying. That's real. Yeah. So what's some resources mm-hmm. you feel like you learned? From them? Yeah, from like the label? From the, or did you take like. <laughs> Anything I took away? Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. I mean, I, I there was, I'm not going to say, I mean, there's a lot of people on those labels that I still have great relationships with Definitely. today. So, I mean, relationships is huge in this industry, as you guys know, like, because right. um, one relationship could lead to another relationship and then so on and so on. So um, I think that was like the good thing about it is just kind of getting my foot in the door and people in the industry. Not so it has nothing to do with public, but the industry starting mm-hmm. to know the name mm-hmm. L.A. So they're like, you know, that means a lot to the industry. It's like if you don't know if people don't know you inside the industry, they won't vouch for you. They won't go hard for you. So and I've been able to gather a, a group of people that really believe in me and still, you know, hold me in high regard to this day just because of just keeping your face clean and just having that, like, um, mindset of, like, you know, treat the janitor as well as you treat the CEO. You know right. what I mean? Like, that's been, that's been my mentality since I came into the, the game. So um, I don't think anybody could come into a conversation about L.A. and say that they had a bad you know, kind of like experience. So right. that's right. huge for me. And I want people to take away that. I get that all the time, like from people um, on the road when I do shows, they're like, man, he's so humble. He's so like personable and yada, yada, yada. So um, that's what you can kind of expect with, um, I guess, one-on-ones with me. So I get yeah. that vibe too. Yeah, absolutely, Very man. Now, cause now nah, LA, you, cause I remember when your, your record crazy, mm-hmm. that record was going crazy on like, oh, no pun intended, but that record was legit <laughs> going crazy on right. the internet. And um, I think it's safe to say that you really did help mm. with the new sound of R and B. Yeah, nah. I, it's funny you say that. I, I was having this conversation the other day, but I don't think I'll ever really get the credit for that. But I mean, it is what it is. I think that was kind of the main reason why I named my last project "Forgotten Flowers" because I mm. was like kind of threw away the idea of like getting my flowers. It is what it is, you know. Because I feel like, like you said, like, and there's a lot of people that will count or attest to that as well. Like, I talked to some some huge artists that have explained to me my influence on them. And I mean, will they say that publicly? Probably not. (laughs) You know what I mean? But you know, I do get like people saying like, you know, I I used to listen to you and yada, yada, yada in high school, or I used to listen to you when I was this or that. And um, there's this guy recently who I just talked to, who's like a a big artist as well. He was saying like, you wanted to, people, you know, to usher in this new trap soul type sound, you know what I mean, on the SoundCloud platform. And it was it was it was me and Bryson that really ushered that in. Yeah, good cuz I was going to yeah. say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to yeah. say it. Which was which was um which was amazing on his part to give it a title. You know right. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like and I wish I had thought about that, but he ended up kind of coined it as trap soul and, you know, here we are today kind of still using that term. So, uh, but yeah, we were both using the same producers, AO, AO and Keys. Which mm. keys is still around here in Atlanta, just kind of doing his thing still. But that part, um, yeah, I mean, like we were using the same producers, and we have mainly using the same sound. So we were right. we were doing that before me or Bryson kind of had any type of notoriety. And I have texts from Bryson back in the day, like like I've never performed before. You know, like yeah. is there anything any tips that you want to share with me and yada yada? Like so, I was like I've been I've seen so many people kind of come through the ranks and and be you know. Be where they are now and see where they are now is dope to see. So oh, that's dope. Yeah. Nah. So you gave him some tips about actually performing. Yeah, I mean, well, it's funny. Like before, don't like I think like don't was like huge on SoundCloud, and obviously it spawned into his record deal, and he ended up going with the RCA. Um, shout out to Tunji. Um, but yeah, no, he. 
I remember just early conversations of I would hit him and just ask him for advice for certain like personal stuff because he had a right. daughter and different things of that nature. Um, but like, yeah, he he. I remember specifically doing a show and I brought out Kehlani in L.A. Mm. and um, I remember him hitting me after that show and asking me like, "Here, bro, I never I've never performed before. Like, you know, do you have any tips for me? Because because Don't was huge. That song Very. was incredibly huge. So you know, his life was and his his career was going to take off. So right. and we we everybody knew that. So um, but yeah, he's super cool too. Shout out to Bryson. He's um, anytime I hit him, he normally hits me back. So you know, it's that's few and far between. The, a lot of artists when they get to a certain level, they, they out of touch. Yeah, 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 you know. Yeah. So. Is that though? I ain't gonna hold you. Is that just the way it is, or is it just? I'm not sure. I feel like I don't know. I think it's just just the way people. I think I want to say like just letting it affect their 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 brain or their their head. I guess their their mental space, like the the fame. But also on the other side of that is when things are busy, it could be stressful, and and you don't want to speak to people. You kind of just when you have your alone time, just want to. Be with your family and just spend that time for yourself. So I respect it either way, you know. Right. <clears throat> yeah. That's fair to say. No, that is fair to say, man, yeah. because, I mean, seeing the work that you've done and, you know, you spoke on it, you know, you do kind of feel like you didn't necessarily get your flowers. So mm -hmm. how were you able to just stay sane? During that? Because I'm just saying, like. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't. Like, I, I, mm. I spiraled. Yeah, you know, I, I had, like, moments of anxiety and depression. Mm. Like, I battled that a lot. Um near i think 2018 was like a huge huge year for me where i, I battled that completely because you know you see your peers reaching new heights in their career and you're like man like what's going on with this label <laughs> you know what i mean mm. like because i never i never attest i never con con considered it being myself you know i because it was already proven right. when i walked into the door people like me people like the music, you know what yeah. I mean? These are things I'm getting millions of plays already, like on SoundCloud. These are like, these is this is concrete evidence. Yeah. Right. So I knew it wasn't me. It, it was the lack of promotion, the lack of market marketing. You know, all of this stuff that I signed to this label, it was and it was expecting and didn't right. happen. You know, um, so it was 2018 was was weird for me because 2016 I put out um, All I Fallen, which was under Atlantic, and that had like. Kehlani on it and you know it did really well and I think I, forgot, I, think who else was on I can't think right now but and then we put out um or two in 2017 which had like Eric Bellinger and mm -hmm. Ty Dolla Sign and mm -hmm. you know and 2018 was like nothing you know the label we didn't even put out a project that year mm -hmm. and it's like well you know these songs are doing incredibly well yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean like why aren't we getting radio you know why aren't we getting um you know, late night performances like some of my, I see my other peers doing and, you know, what's going on? Why, why aren't we doing that? And, right. you know, so it was like a, it was tough for me to kind of battle that and kind of come to grips with where things were, were at and were headed because when I put all the falling out, the, it, I think it hit like number 12 on billboard, like heat seekers. Yeah. So it was like, <clears throat> it was, it was pretty high up there. And I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, do they, and I think they didn't even notice, they didn't even no, it did that you wow. know, until like That's until crazy. the next project was to come out. And I was like, I had to research it myself. You know yeah. what I mean? They didn't even know. So was that around the Cardi B era, though? Because I want to say who was it had to been their focus on other 2016. people. Who yeah. was that Atlantic? Oh, man. Oh, I want young boy might have just got there. I don't know. But I think I think Cardi and Bruno was like that was a focus oh, yeah. Or huge yeah. over there at that time. And that's the I mean. Major labels in general right. have priority artists, yeah. But I think Atlantic suffers from that tremendously. Whereas, like, they pour all of their. There's so many great artists under Atlantic, but mm -hmm. and that have signed to Atlantic that you don't even hear about because they're not pushing them. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They're just focused on the cash cows, you know. And mm -hmm. and that's a, I don't know. It's a disservice to the fans that love those artists and yeah. myself being a. A product of that as well is kind of disappointing, but you know, yeah. here we are. Because so. what work do you yeah. have to do if an artist is already hot, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to do no work. Yeah. So why are you putting so much <laughs> into something that's already working? Right. I think like it's it's just like you know, like you said, if something's already kind of moving, why not just add a little bit? You don't even you're a multi million dollar company. You know what I mean? Billion like, dollar company. Yeah, right. I mean, exactly. So it's like why why not just throw some chips my way. I know a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand will do nothing to y'all bank account. 100%. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and some other artists as well. So 
that was always something I was just like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I wish I didn't do this. But <clears throat> like I said, I don't. It's no reason to kind of cry about it at this point. You know, yeah. you just kind of pick your, pick yourself up. And at the, and at this point, I'm happy to say, like, I still have fans that listen to the music that still come through and you know buy tickets to shows and buy merchandise. And I mean, we did like this even thing where they got to pre-listen to this last project, Forgotten Flowers, and it was so many people that bought the early listen. You know, it was. And it was like a pay what you want platform, you know, kind of like service. So okay. $5 minimum, but you could pay as much as you want. And there's plenty of people that are paying $100, $200, $20, $30. Organic. Yeah, followers. like just people. Yeah, I'm fans. not telling them to do that. They have $4.99. You can listen to the project. But if you want to contribute a little bit more, you can. And there are so many people that did. So um, that shows people that really love what I do and have been affected to the mu- affected by the music. Right. Um. Because it has so, yeah. to make you feel good knowing that even through that storm and that fire, right. you still created something that yeah. touched the people. Right, yeah. exactly. I mean, and I think at a certain point, I lost sight of that. You right. know what I mean? Because it was not a, it became more about competition mm. and less about the fans that, that are here. That like are, you was comparing yourself. Yeah, I would yeah. just look to the side and be like, you know, oh, well, she's doing that and he's doing that. Mm-hmm. Let's kind of focus. Let's try to do something different to kind of reach that, that height. Mm. And then... People, the fans were like, well, why is he going that direction? We don't even know him for that. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. why is he doing that? Like, you know, or I don't, I think he's trying too hard. Or, he, you know, it was very evident for people that are fans of me that was like, that doesn't really sound like L.A. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so Forgotten Flowers was like a. Going back to Yeah, it yeah. was just a back 180. And just back. trying to get back to, yeah the, yeah, the basics. So, and that comes from just, like I said, not caring anymore. The title says it, Forgotten Flowers. Not really caring, just caring about the fans and caring about having fun again with music. Because you right. lose that, you know what I mean. When when it comes when it becomes a job, you lose it completely. It's like I don't even care about this music. I'm trying to like, I don't care about the quality of it. I'm trying to just reach a goal, you know what I mean, a height. And the the quality of the music suffers because of it. And there's plenty of artists that. I was about to say that's so relatable. Yeah, it's it's plenty of artists. That's like yeah. probably you know, like eight percent. Trash. It's probably ninety. <laughs> it's probably ninety percent of artists yeah. are like the main that artists that thing. you hear. The main, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's only a small window that's actually like like you said they don't need a back end. Right. They don't need all of that. So mm-hmm. it's like why? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, no. Exactly. But you independently, you back in that space again. Yeah. What are some things that's bringing you peace knowing like you went through all of that? Yeah, I think um, I had a daughter last year. So <gasps> yep. she's, yeah. She's, happy, happy early. She's of a lady one, Father's Day. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Before you get there, I got to ask. I got to mm-hmm. ask. Yeah. Did you, because I don't know what it is about dudes when they had a daughter. I know about like three dudes that just had a daughter. They all say, I fell in love at first sight. Did uh, that happen to you too? It Not was, for real. It was ridiculous. Like, just, just I remember like, you know, because obviously you're not seeing what's going on down right. there, but mm-hmm. you're up here. I mean, you can, I guess, if you want, but I, don't, I didn't want to see what's going on down there. Like, they had the sheet over it? Yeah, okay. like, they had a sheet like mm. that, and then we're on this side, and I just remember, like, you know, trying to coach her through it, and um, obviously, like, I coach her through it. Like, I know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you just try to be there. Good, be there. Yeah. But, yeah, you know, yeah. and, um, you know, once the first, I think, like, they tell you, like, if the baby's crying, and, I mean, She's good. They're healthy. If they're not, that's something to worry about. You know oh, what I mean? When okay. they come, when the baby comes out. So that was in my mind. Like, I just want to hear the, hear the cry. You know, right. once she comes out, and um, that first cry, I was through. Damn, I was. You I cried? was oh, Boo-hoo. this is your seed. <laughs> that, that's me. That's a that's girl. You, that's you. Right. It's a girl too, bro. Like that's like this. This is somebody that's depending on me for life now. You know what I mean? And that it all hit me like a ton of bricks at that first hear like when I first heard the cry her cry I was like oh this is what life is about you know what I mean it's not about what I'm doing outside of this moment outside of this being at this you know now like I don't care about music anymore at this point you know what I mean it was like once she came about it was like okay this is my job and I want to have fun again doing it you know Mm -hmm. so once I figured that you know the only way to to for me to get money would be to continue doing what I'm doing. I mean, obviously I can go out and get a new uh, a job or something like a regular right. nine to five, but I want to I want to be happy with what I'm doing. Right. Mm. So that was a big part of like okay, well, independent is like the best probably route to go right now is just to be independent, be free to do what I want to do, mm-hmm. and continue making money that way. Mm. That means like no no matter what I do, um, you know, I'm my 
worst critic. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'm I'm who I'm. There's nobody like signing off on it, but me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because on Definitely. labels, it's like you pass them the album, and they're like, um, yeah. Five people have to say yes to this, and you're just waiting. You're just like, just all right. Two months go by. Oh, where where is she at? She's on vacation. She hasn't signed off on it yet. And you're like, it's been two months. Like, can we get this album out? You know? Oh, wow. So it's like certain certain situations like that that I was just kind of fed up with and through it for sure. And um, yeah. So it was the easy kind of like thing for me to just be like, all right, let's just go this route and let's have fun again. You know, and let's just make music that we want to make. So. I'm so happy for him yeah. because, like, you have a daughter now, all money in, the money is coming to you and your child. Like, yep. nobody's taking a pit. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, that exactly. is a blessing. Mm-hmm. And um, I've, I've never, just to be candid, like, never really seen money for my for my projects. You know what right. I mean? Like, I, w- I would make my money, a lot of artists as well, like, make their money on the road. That's how we make money, you know, right. and sell merchandise and stuff like that. So, um, but as far as, the music is concerned. There's so many splits and percentages that go this way and that way. And to the publisher and to the label, they take a certain amount. And at the end of the day, you like, oh. and then sometimes I'd be thinking me personally, like, oh, like, do I need to audit this label? Like to yeah. try to get some of this money. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. cause I'm not, I haven't seen much of anything from the, and we've done incredible numbers over right. there. You know what I mean? Like I know I've made more than I was given. You know what I mean? Like at that label for sure. You like know on I mean? your own, like like my dance. Mm-hmm. I know for a fact that the music is made recoup. paid it off. Yeah. What? So yeah. I'm like, okay, well, that's just the way it goes. You know, the label was never designed for the artist. No, no. never. You know what I mean? It was designed for that for the company. So they yeah. say you know, it is. It best is what to it get is. An audit, like even because I think even I think like, Big Sean did that. Yeah, yeah, Sean, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> and he that's where the, the the thing spawned for me. The, the idea I was and like, he big as fuck. Like and he got some money too. I was yeah. like, Oof, man, maybe I need to and go. And Kanye ahead, rich as fuck. Try to find it. Yeah, nothing man. against Kanye. It happens. I don't think it's Kanye fault. It's just it can be loopholes and shit. Yeah. You know, he right. probably knew something was going on. Ain't no telling, man. Word. Kanye be on a different. He be on that <laughs> <laughs> different time, bro. Kanye be on some different. Yeah, shit. Kanye, yeah, yeah. He be ever. He's the ultimate creative. Yeah, Word. if you ain't, he's a hundred percent. Yeah. I must ask you though. So, mm-hmm. even though your your journey took you from North Dakota to mm-hmm. now, you know, you was raised in the South. Yep. But you got a West Coast connection, like mm-hmm. this man. Got features from people like yeah. I listen to these folks, like, crazy. and you got a lot of these people early too. It's like right. you got Kehlani yeah. early, early. I don't even remember. You how know, did that, I didn't like, even think about that. Yeah, how did that, that happen? Like your connection with the West Coast, like how do you build that mm. core like that? I'm not sure. I think with Kehlani, she was just a fan of that SoundCloud earlier music, you know. And I don't think she was sound. I don't think she was Kehlani Kehlani yet. You know what I mean? She was in the process of tatting herself yeah. up right. when that around that time. Um, and she loved a song called Situations. Mm. On the first aura on uh, SoundCloud, so she hit me up and she told me that, and I was like, "Well, you're awesome too. Like, let's link up when I get to LA." And I think we did, and it was just a no brainer for her to be on a song. I was like, "Yo, you, you should hop on this song." And I, I think I sent her like two or three, and she was like, "Either one." I was like, All right, let's go with this one. And went to the studio. She knocked it out. And but um, with Ty, it was like Ty Dolla. It was like mm-hmm. Sean Barron, who is like. My, who was my A&R over at Motown. Um, he wasn't my A&R at Atlantic, but he was there at that time. Um, he was working on Ty at the time over there. And he was the one that looked out for me. Yeah, he didn't have to do that. Like, yeah. which is in hindsight, he didn't have to look out for me in terms of like f- sending me a record from Ty. You know what I mean? Like, wow. and since then me and Ty have connected, you know, like we've FaceTimed and we've spoken in person and yada, right. yada, yada. But um, yeah, that was just a time where somebody was just looking out for me. And it's funny because me and Sean, still, I talked to Sean yesterday. We have a great relationship. so And he's still helping out, too, even though we're we're both not on the Motown label anymore. We're both still just on the outside of it, just still right. working. So, it's the um, relationship. Yeah, it's all about the relationships. Exactly. It goes back to that. Um, even yeah. with Eric, like, how did y'all meet? Yeah, how Eric, did? too. Um yeah, Eric she is loves just, Eric Bella. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna hold you. you. I love Benzin and Vic. As a I songwriter, though, I just I be inspired. You know, yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? yeah. Of course, like, he really is. He's so. incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, he reached out to me. I want to say on 
Twitter a long time ago. I want to say Twitter because he doesn't, he follows me there. He doesn't follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I, and I found it out the other day. I was like, I called, I was like, why don't you follow me on Instagram? He might follow me now, but, um, but yeah, no, I, um, <laughs> had to call him out yeah, I had to call him out. So, <laughs> but yeah, I think he reached out to me on Twitter and then he told me he's a fan. I think I did no with him, that song. Okay. No vibes. I think I did that, and then uh, it was like a swap. I was like, if I do this, then you got to do something for me. So he did a Slip and Fall um, on or 2 for me, and that's like a fan favorite. People always ask about that record. and People love our dynamic, too. They think mm-hmm. we sound really well together, and that's why I mean, we, we spoke a couple weeks back, and he was saying like he wanted to do – a collab project together. Which yes. Oh, yes. We're here, here for it. Yes, we're here for it. We're here for it. Yes. Yeah, I Come on, Hitmaker. Yeah. All, yeah. all your tools oh, yes. that you use, Hitmaker. Yes. Yes. Oh, y'all. Shout out to Burr. Because yeah. he is with um, Empire. Empire, right? Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. guys. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> right, exactly. That could be a big one. So, like, it will be a yeah. big one. Yes. Um, but, yeah, no, I am um, doing that would be super cool. So, I mean, we're just, you know, filling it out. I sent him a record yesterday, and uh, he was like, this is dope. He's going to call me today. So hopefully he calls me today and we get that record done. Because I wanted to put that out ASAP. So yeah. I'm doing a deluxe version of this project I just put out. Nice. And I would love him to be a part of it. So, um, yeah, I mean, more music from us should be on the way. And I don't know if you guys know about a, a guy, Xavier Omar. I don't know. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. I like yeah, him too. He's, um, yeah. we're, we're working on a, a collab project as well. That's so, going to be crazy. Yeah. Wow. So that should probably come out a few months, maybe August, September. So, I mean, I've been working, you know, and that's the type of stuff I can do now. You know what I mean? I can just say, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And not have to run it by anybody. Right. Just, I just come up with these ideas and I just make the calls and... Mm-hmm. It's it like a breakup. It it's like you, you got away from that girl that was bad for you. You feel yeah. free. Oh, my <laughs> no, gosh. Free. That is the perfect, that is some real shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's exactly. Ain't that like when you first get off your yeah, breakup yo, and like, you just like, man, I ain't got to respond to right. shit. Right. <laughs> you <laughs> chilling. <laughs> I'm chilling. Straight so up. Do you work from home? Like, with yeah, yeah. Else? yeah. Okay. I could do both. I am I, I work well, I work better from home because yeah. I'm in my own environment, on my own space, which is always like the, the ideal situation. But, um. Studios is fine too. I'm not a big studio guy just because mm. my experience with studios has always been like, you know, you give one person the address and then 20 people show up. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> I hate that, you know. Yeah. I'm the type of artist that needs to focus. Otherwise, I will just be in there talking. <laughs> like, right. the whole, and before I know it, like, my time is up. And I right. gotta go. So, uh, working from home is cool. I just grab a bowl of cereal and listen to beats and and then figure out what's going to be the next song. That's so, what's up. And yeah. you record yourself? Yeah. That's hard. Yeah, and that's, that's like hard. what I was saying earlier before we started. Like, I went to the Artist Institute, so, like, mm-hmm. of Atlanta, where I kind of picked up a lot of the knowledge of how to record and how to mix. And, um, I mean, I was doing all of that beforehand, but right. um, got a little bit more insight about, you know, how to really hone in on that. But now I go to YouTube University. Oh, so yeah, for sure. YouTube would be... Everything. Got a YouTube I mean, master's you fine. Anything you need on YouTube. So, uh, but yeah, when I need a help, when I need help with anything, I just go to YouTube. But I, I'm pretty, pretty beastly at what I do. You know, yeah, because even the stuff that you post on the internet, like you just in the studio chilling. Right. Yeah. You probably didn't even make anything, but it just looked like you about to make the craziest <laughs> shit. I mean, look, that's a, it's probably something that I did make but didn't put out. You know what I mean? Like I'm mm. notorious for that. I got plenty of songs in the hard drive that's like. You know, I play them on lives or something like that, Instagram lives, and people be like, "When is this coming out?" Like, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it'll come out, maybe in the world. So yeah, yeah. That's what's that's up. That's the sure. beauty of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we know you got a show coming up. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We gonna sh- be there. Right? That's, I mean, I'm pushing up. Hey, I'll pull up. For you sure. got it. <laughs> you forget? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a show coming up at aisle yeah. five, man. Yeah. Got a show. Wait, is it aisle five? Oh, is that, oh, that, that's what the. It's not a masquerade. I think it's Terminal West. I'm oh, oh yeah, yeah, I think it is Terminal West. I five well, was last the last time we did a show here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it yeah. is Terminal West. But Shout um, out to, uh, you got us on the tickets. We coming? Yeah, I mean, what's up? <laughs> I mean, hey, yeah, 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 we there. We <laughs> <up>. <laughs> for sure. But um, yeah. you know, what is it like for you being in this new state, knowing that? Because I mean, you said you forgot that you had to cover it up. So I mean, you must really well. Be it's been a lot of stuff we dealing with. So like, yeah. you know, that's like, does this feel like a like a reintroduction? Yeah, honestly, it does. I just kind of feel like right now I'm just in a space where everything I'm starting from ground zero. I feel like that's where I'm at. I feel like I'm starting from ground zero with fans, Mm. which is like tough because, you know, well, it's not tough in that sense because we had, you know, a lot of people start 
especially today out, it's hard to start from ground zero today. Yeah. Um, you know, so much music out there, so many people doing the same thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, the fact that I have a fan base that listens to the music is is great. So now I just kind of feel like I'm bu- I'm building a whole new team. I'm in the process of um, you know, working on a tour and mm-hmm. all that stuff. Like I'm I, I'm and I'm that's me. I'm dealing with all of that. Like right. I'm not even like there's nobody really dealing with it for me, you know. I don't have a manager at the moment, you know. It's like a lot of different stuff I'm just wow. building. Yeah, like You don't have a manager. No, no. no. Oh, so I'm okay. I'm um every like even with this last project, I um I did everything. You know, I was doing, I was getting contracts drawn up for the artists like Crit and um this dude named Crush. You were doing the um, splits and shit? Yeah, like, like yeah. I did everything. Ooh, it was, that shit real. It's, yeah, it's that real. independent route real. real you tough. appreciate though when you do got oh, your 100%, team and stuff. Oh, yeah. 100%. 100%. But at the end of the day, like, you know, I had to do it. And That's right. it needed to get done. So um I was I was dealing with a lot, but you know, it's all worth it when you see it, you get that email like all the splits have been accepted. And you're like, Oh great, thank you. Beautiful. Um but yeah, no, it's it's tough because you know, people might feel like they want more, feel like they might want or feel like they didn't do I had a guy hit me um recently and was like, Oh, I didn't do this. And I was like, Oh, I thought you wrote on this. He was like, No, I didn't write this. Mm. I was like, Oh, I like, did I write this? Because <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> the, song, the songs from Forgotten Flowers mm. was like two or three years old. Right. You know what I mean? So I really had to like dig deep in my memory bank to feel like uh, figure out like, you know, who did this and who did that. And, you know, it was tough. So I, I figured it all out, of course. But I, there was one guy, uh, Aaron, who uh, did Heat for Chris Brown, um, which is an incredible song. Did you were, oh yeah, yeah that yeah. one the capital video yeah, yeah. <laughs> the capital yeah. video um i i asked him i was like bro and i hit him i was like bro i got you down for i think it was like 20 percent on this song i sent it to him he was like well you gotta send it i was like he's like you gotta send it to me because i don't remember if i did it or not mm. send it to him he called me he was like bro i didn't i didn't write this mm. and i was like really <laughs> i was like Damn. did i write it because it was so long ago like i just didn't remember and i felt like we did write songs together but i thought he was a part of this one song but mm. um so yeah it was difficult filling all of that out but it worked out you know here we are so here you are today yeah here we are today man. with some people like now that you're independent what are some people you want to work with now oh man um honestly like because i am an artist and i know how fickle people are in this mm-hmm. industry mm-hmm. it's whoever wants to work with me you know yeah, what i mean like whoever is interested in, in building and relate building a relationship and, and wanting to um create some cool cool shit then you know i'm down so right um but as far as me reaching out like i've done that and you know it's tough when you i've had people hit or respond and Say like, yeah, here's my number, and you hit the number, and it's like, no, oh, okay. Why did you give me the number? Wow. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's like certain certain stuff like that, and then people that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, this girl is like a huge, huge artist. She responded she's like, I'm such a huge fan. Like, okay, cool. You know, the, and then I posted a snippet of something on Instagram one day, and she hit me immediately like, I want to be on this. And I was like, okay, I can send it to you. And then it, nothing. It's like, what's the point? Of like, what's the, <laughs> and it, you reached that out. happens so often. So at this point, it's like I just, you know, I don't chase it down anymore. Like it just is what it is. Except for it, unless you're like a good friend, like like Eric. I hit him yesterday. I was like, I need you on this. Yeah. <laughs> you know I what I mean? Say like, y'all close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. I need you on this. It's like, a difference. And I was like, it would make it would mean a lot. So it's like stuff like like people I know for right. sure. But um, yeah, Cash Doll spoke on that too. By the way, because mm. she was saying that. It frustrates her because she said, if you reach out to me yeah. and then it's crickets, like, I don't understand. I just don't understand Yeah, it. but it's yeah. like, it just doesn't make sense. Or, like I said, like, if I reach out and then you respond with, yeah, yeah, you I'm down. You still reached out, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm down. And then it gets to the point where it's like, I get a number and then we're going back and forth and then um, nothing. You know what I mean? And I've had, I've had, I've had artists, like, I'm going to give you 20 bands. And still say like no, you know what I mean? It was like I would do that in a heartbeat. You know what I mean? Like twenty bands, um, yeah. Like so, certain situations like that just blow me. So I just be like, whatever. I'm just gonna just you know do my thing. That's right. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. 
people want to work, then like just hit me up. <laughs> cool. That's, up. Nah, that's good to that's know. That's good man. to know. Right. That's good to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So man, so yeah, man, you in this new space, man. LA, you here. Yes. You know what I say? Congratulations to you, man. Like for real. You are definitely <laughs> you definitely dope. You are a legend of SoundCloud. Thank you are definitely you, one of the SoundCloud legends. Thank you, bro. So um I'm mad I didn't see him on SoundCloud. Oh, you missed that I was an error. I missed you after that. Yeah. But that's era. good that you still got Shots, after that. Selection, those guys. Oh, they were yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Same goal, that no? was an era though. Mm-hmm. I just didn't it get Sango, interested in him Esther, at the era. Mm-hmm. Kate Stu, Kate yeah. What a time. Yeah, it was great. Damn. Like, I feel like that yeah. was the real sound class. That's the real mm-hmm. Yeah, like the trippy red and all that stuff that came later on. Right. I feel like that was like, when people like, refer you know, to them as SoundCloud rappers, I'd be like, I, I don't think I was there for that. You know what yeah. I mean? I think I was kind of off the platform by that point. But Oh, you was there before them. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. that was okay. when it was like free, free. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it so was, I was super late, free. Late, late, yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. Was I was like twenty, what, fourteen, twenty fifteen. That was that was twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen time frame. Yeah, yep. and that was a good time. Yeah. Little uh, little Sims, uh, Kalani, Bryson, yep. Ella May, like Xavier, um, Xavier, what's Xavier Omar. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, we were all. Gold Link, like oh, we were, yeah. Oh, yeah, we were all in that kind of like class, which would be cool. They need to do like a they SoundCloud, need a SoundCloud class. class. SoundCloud yeah. class, Ooh, speak, hey, that. Man, speak that, Word. speak Get that. Hard. That'll be one of the hardest things mm-hmm. to happen. We with that man <laughs> again. Congratulations to you on the new Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Yes, yeah, sir. man. But before, but we before we wrap, we always like to encourage our guests to provide positive words of affirmation. Yeah. So, what are some advice that LA can provide to anybody that's on oh, their way? Man. Um, I think stay true to you. Stay true to what you have to say. Um, and if you don't know what that is, find it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean, before you put out anything, ask yourself, what do you want to say? Mm-hmm. What do you want to be known for? You know what I mean? That's like the biggest thing, you know, cause you don't want to be known for the wrong thing. And then you left putting on a, a show for the rest of your career. That's real. You know what I mean? Like, cause you know, for me, it was early in my career where it was like, you know, let's put out this type of record. And it's like, well, that's not what I want to be known for. What happens if that record goes mm-hmm. dummy and number one, yeah. and then that's all people want to hear from me. Mm-hmm. I'm an artist. Right. Creative, like I like to make different type of stuff. So I've always kind of I like the way my career kind of has panned out because people know me for different things and heard different things without one thing going super dummy yet. Mm-hmm. But also leaves optimism for like that one thing do you know going dummy and then when that does, there's a lot of foundation behind that. Exactly, you can go listen to all the stuff before that. So yeah, we're working towards that. So yeah, we'll see. Good luck, my brother. That's yeah, dope. Good luck, man. You. Appreciate it. So you open sure. door policy for LA. Whatever yeah. you need, however we can support, Thank you not y'all. hesitate to reach out. Yes, man. sir. I appreciate y'all for Anytime. sure. All yeah. love. Uh-oh. Hey, infinite. What? Yes. No, 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 no. I was just saying, I was saying, I was saying, yep. You know what I mean? Like, yep. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. Oh, gee, man. Hey, infinite vibes. Miranda, man. Top flow, B-Lex. <laughs> LA in the building. Hey. Yeah.